This is my latest project. It's uh, repurposing the IKEA Besta cabinet that I already had in my living room. It was being underutilized and I decided I wanted to use it to house my Elegoo Mars 2 3D res. But I needed to make some modifications to the cabinet itself in order to uh, be able to safely print inside of a living space. One of the first things I did was installed cabinet lighting on the inside. I did this with a set of LED strips that I got off of Amazon and it even comes with a remote control. This thing will get lost very easily so I need to find uh, a good place to keep that. I'm thinking about 3D printing a holder and just sticking it to the side of the cabinet. Inside of the cabinet you can see I have the Elegoo Mars 2 3D printer as well as the uh, Anycubic Wash and Cure Machine version 2.0. These are sitting on a slide out shelf that I installed on the sides of the Besta cabinet on the inside. These are just standard drawer sliders that I got from Lee Valley. And not only does it allow you to remove the covers for both of these machines, but it also gives you better access to the back of the machines where you can get a hold of the power switches and cables. I've mounted a second shelf directly underneath that one, which acts as a small workstation. So when I'm transferring a print from the uh, Mars 2 to the uh, Anycubic wash and cure machine, I'll have somewhere to remove supports, dry it off. This is done with a bottom mount shelf or an under mount shelf. So rather than mounting to the side of the cabinet, it mounts to the floor of the cabinet. It's actually designed to mount underneath a desk. Uh, however, I, I just flipped it upside down and it works just as well. It also leaves a bit of space for storage of things like extra resin tanks. I've installed a 120 millimeter, 120 volt fan and connected that to a remote control switch which is plugged into a power strip. There's also an extension cord with three outlets on it plugged into the same power strip. To turn the fan on, I've installed a remote control switch and just stuck it to the side of the cabinet. And once you click it, you can see the fan spool up. With the door closed, this is a very quiet operation. If you have the TV on or you're having a conversation, you won't even notice it. I did install a 3D printed aperture on the 120 millimeter fan. And this is just a simple manual twist aperture that you can find on Thingiverse. I will link it below. With both of the drawers pulled out of the cabinet, you can see that I've got an extension cord going from the power strip to provide power for the LED lighting as well as for the Mars 2. The Anycubic wash and cure machine uh, the power supply for that was too large to be able to fit underneath the bottom drawer. There's a second cabinet underneath the uh, main cabinet and they're attached. Uh, that's part of the IKEA Besta system is that uh, they can stack one on top of the other. And this is ideal for storing filament, resin, cleaning products, uh, whatever you might need. On the back of the cabinet, I've 3D printed a duct that was found on Thingiverse, and I'll link that below as well. 
and uh, it is a 120 millimeter fan adapter to a 3 inch hose adapter. The one thing I found while I was uh, putting this project together is finding parts for 4 inch is a whole lot easier than finding parts for 3 inch. So that may be a consideration if you're uh, thinking about attempting a project like this. Because of some time constraints I've had lately, I have decided to uh, just hack up a piece of scrap plywood that I had lying around and uh, attach the hose to it with just some plain old foil tape. It's a temporary measure really, but it should prove effective. On uh, the facing outside, I've applied foil tape to it as well, just to provide a small amount of weather protection. And this is going to go into the front window and the uh, hose will vent directly to the outside. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of my repurposed IKEA cabinet. And if you like this kind of thing, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've just started it up. I'm not sure which direction it's going in, but I'm always trying uh, new things and posting them up here if I take any video footage of them. Thanks for watching.